but is showing me that he is sick at heart. There is a polluted stream of televangelism. Yes. That's filled the atmosphere. Yes. So much garbage. With half truths. Yes. Mixed with impurity in their own personal lives. Lord have mercy. Mm. And it's like he's grabbing this one from here and this one from there, and I'm seeing some of them, and I know who they are, and I will withhold that. But it is such a serious situation because the Lord is very tired of the playing. Yes. The playing. The playing. Hallelujah. The usurping of his authority. The gathering in of the money. Mm. Competition. Yes. Competition. Jesus. Mm. Oh Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And it's like he's reaching here and he's reaching there and he's going to deal with them. He's going to deal with them Hallelujah. all the And they, yet they have reputations. They have reputations where people have sown into their ministry over years and years and years and years and they are full of pollution and contamination now. Lord, God have mercy. Hallelujah. May there be correction now, my Lord Jesus. Again, we revelate. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we legislate in the heavenlies now, Lord. That grace and mercy might be spared, Lord. But sit them down, Lord God, until they deal with their own situations, my Lord. Yes. Oh, yes. God, I heard you say repentance before restoration. Ooh. My Lord Jesus. <laughs> now, my Lord Jesus. We purpose, Lord God, to contend for their souls, Lord God. And Lord Jesus, we repent for those who have been turned away, Lord God. Yes. Turned away, so Father, because of the lies that have been portrayed. And all of the evil, Lord God, that yes. has gone over the airways, Lord God, my Lord Jesus. And has turned many people against even coming to church anymore, yes, Lord. Lord. So right now, Lord God, we stand in the gap, pleading, the gap. Lord God, for your yes, mercy and Lord. your grace. For Ooh. all of those, Lord Jesus, who have gone astray and they're absolutely in their apostasy yes. state. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, yes, my God, Lord Jesus. we ask for a special, a special potion, Lord. A special portion and portion of your grace, Lord, to those who have become disenchanted and discouraged and fallen away. Lord, that you would pull them back yes, in by your death, oh God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Lord Jesus, we ask, oh God, yes, for your special mercy and your special grace now, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Criticizing someone else in the ministry. Now, I want you to understand something. Don't be guilty of that. There, every one of us will stand before God on our own. And it's none of your business whether you think that person is right or wrong. If you think they're wrong, then do what she did, and that's just pray for them. Amen. The Holy Spirit will convict that's them. That's it. But don't go talking about them. That's right. Gossip is gossip. When I opened up my email this morning and saw that, I had to pray for the guy who sent it. Amen. Now, I didn't pray for the person that was being criticized, though I will. But I had to pray for the man who sent it to me because he's committing a sin that he doesn't even realize he's committing or else he thinks he's too godly. And, and I don't mean to be unkind in that statement. But sometimes we think we're so right with God that we can say anything and get away with it. That is not true. God will hold us accountable, not only for the things we say, but the thoughts we think. Amen. Now, Father, I'm so thankful for this morning. I know this has been so different, but I'm glad for different. Yes, Lord Jesus. I'm glad, Holy Spirit, that you were free to come. Hallelujah. And what you, the Father, wanted done this morning it in this done. room. And so, Ooh. God... And I pray for those of our body that aren't here today, and yes. some because I know they're not well, and I ask you to minister to them and bring healing to them right now. Yes. But Father, I pray that somehow the Holy Spirit will communicate the same thing that we've been experiencing in this room, 
that they will experience in their lives, yes, wherever Jesus. they are. And that, Father, they too will take up the passion for the lost family members or friends or whatever. But that, God, you will do something to change lives. Yes, Lord Jesus. Now, in a moment, we're going to have communion. Do I think we need it? Hallelujah. Yeah, I think we need probably more now than ever. Hallelujah. And I, I, when I say that, please don't misread anything into that. Because I pray that every time we take it, you confess sin before you take it. Because yes. Paul's very quick that if we don't, we drink damnation to our own soul. And, and so that, that as we do it, I want you to open your heart. But what I want you to do this morning, or this afternoon, I'm not even sure what time it is, but that's beside the point. Amen. That that you take it with a passion for somebody that you know that's lost. Perhaps a family member, someone. And I want you to take it saying, Jesus, let this blood, Holy Spirit, let them be so convicted as I take this juice, the blood, that they will realize that you want to wash away their sin. That you want to. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man will open up, I will come in, and I will sup with him. That's the promise of God. And so, Brother Duroy, if you'll come, please. Jesus, you came and bore in your body stripes, abuse, violence. And your word tells us that by your stripes we were healed. And I speak, Lord, right now for anybody in this room that needs a healing. And I speak that over Anna right now, that God healing takes place in Jesus' name. Because of the stripes that Jesus, you bore in your body. 
And as we take this wafer this morning, we do it a symbol of your body, Jesus, because it was beaten and bruised just for us so that our sins could be washed away. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you as we take this wafer for the body that was given for us in your name, Jesus. Amen. Jesus, I thank you for that fountain filled with blood, drawn from Emmanuel's veins. Oh, hallelujah. That sinners can plunge and find their sins washed away. And as we take this cup this morning, Lord, I just pray that there will be forgiveness that we need. If we have to forgive ourselves, that we'll find the grace now to do it. If we have to forgive somebody for the wounds they inflicted, that right now, as we take this, we forgive that person. And we're going to walk out of here having forgiven and having received from you, Lord, the forgiveness that we need. Thank you. Thank you. Great is your faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus. And we receive this now in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen.